Hi guys, welcome to this channel. It's Max from the Max Creation. If it's your first time, please consider supporting me by subscribing to this channel. By the way, don't forget to hit that notification bell. You'll always be updated whenever we upload a new video. Today's video, we are going to look at some something that's quite very new. And actually, it's a, it's a question that came in the comment course section and I felt like I need to share it out with you. Someone is asking me about a freelancer visa and it is a cleaner visa. Yes, when you look at a freelancer visa, which is a freelancer cleaner visa, we have a delivery visa, uh, the cost of those visas, we actually for the right information I have right now, the, the cost of those visas is between 5,000 to 6,000 Qatar Riyal for someone who needs to buy that visa. But it also going to depend on what you call the agent. Who is that trusted agent that is going to give you that visa is also very important. So, but the cost is between 5,000 to 6,000. But again, the question is, why would you wake up to buy what you call a freelancer cleaner visa? Why? Why would you wake up to buy a freelancer visa of unskilled work of 5,000 and 6,000? Yes, sometimes we look at what you call career development. We look at career development in any field that we need to do. But it is, uh, to my suggestion or to my thinking, that is not the right path or the right way that you need to get wherever you have to go. Because remember, when we are looking at what we call professional change, yes, for professional, very many people have changed their professions in one way or the other and have shifted from one prof profession to another profession, no, not even needing to have what you call a freelancer visa, but still on the company visa. How is it done? Remember, this is money that you're going to spend in one way or the other. When we are looking at uh, part of what you call career development in any one way or the other, for example, when we look at most of the people, most of the people who come here, they have what you call papers. They do have professionals, they do have professionals, but you find them that either in security or they're doing other jobs. But remember, it is, it, is, it is not the end of it all that is going to coil you up in one way or the other. You still have room to, to move and go to write to your profession. People have, have, people have moved and they've gone to their profession until now and they're earning good money. The question is that how do you do it? That is the very important question. Other than you waking up to go for a, a, cleanser, a freelancer visa, which is a cleaner visa, which is not even a professional visa. Because sincerely speaking, you are not going to buy a professional visa of an engineer and yet you're not even an engineer. You've never done of an engineering course or even an engineering work. There's nothing to prove you out that you are an engineer. You're not going to wake up and go and buy what you call uh, a professional visa, uh, a freelancer visa, uh, for a teacher, an expert a teacher. You are not a teacher. You've not done any teaching. All right? So I think to my suggestion, to my suggestion, because we need to share out and we need to get one way or the other, such that we can help one another. To my suggestion, the right way would be that, come with that company. For example, if your role, if you think your profession has always been in what we call in hospitality, come as a housekeeper. Those jobs are always there, come as a housekeeper. You'll come as a housekeeper under what you call a work sponsorship visa. You come and work for that company. Let's say that is a hotel. As you work, as you come working as a housekeeper, a tenant, come and work in that hospitality department. You remember your profession is within that department, right? Start work, finish up the contract of two years. The moment you are working in that company, that manager will notice you. It will even be a very good spearhead for you to talk to that manager. You let him know the qualification you have. Because remember, most of the jobs in here in the Gulf country, they will definitely ask for you, what is that qualification in the GCC or what is that qualification in the Gulf that is relating to that particular, that particular profession that you want to do. Because when you go to most of those interviews, they definitely ask you, do you have any experience in the Gulf or any experience in Qatar relating to that profession that you think you want to change or you think that you, you want to upgrade, definitely they will ask you that. 
So, you working as a housekeeper in the hospitality department, you working as a housekeeper there, and you've worked there for some time, and you have a way to prove your skills that you are worthy, another position. You will elevate yourself until you get to that position that you want. Other than you spending 6000 or you spending 5000 on what you call a, clean, a cleaner visa, a freelancer cleaner visa, which is still also not in the line of what you want to do. Remember, when you look at professional changes, something that very easy and very people can, very many people have changed their, changed their professions, is something that you can do and is something that you can change. Starting from where you have your supervisor or from where you call your hiring manager or the manager that is why you're working under that manager in that, uh, let's say, in that hotel. Once he proves that, that you have the skill and you have the qualification, definitely changing is not, is, is not a problem. But why would you go for something that you're going to spend what you call an extra money for that case? That was a bit of advice that I wanted to share with you. For someone who asks for the cost, it's definitely between 5000 to 6000 depending on which kind of trusted agent that you're getting. But also look at a situation whereby you have to look at what you call career development also. It's quite very important for you. And it's quite very important in case you feel you have the qualifications that it did not give you what you wanted at the first start, or you feel you have those papers that did not land you the first job the first time you came or the first time you applied, then definitely it's never a bit, it's never too late. You can still go within, you can still go to write to your what you need for what your profession, and you can still you can still thrive and you can still achieve at the end of it all. So, hope I've tried to share it with someone. I've tried to share it with you for the person who put that comment. Definitely, that will be my piece of advice. So, if there's that company there that can recruit you or there's that manpower that is recruiting, recruiting you are right now to come, definitely, there's no way go ahead, come with that company. Because you remember, accommodation will be free for the start. Everything will transportation will be provided and they'll give you a clean money. So, it's out of that clean money that you feel you can definitely do what is going to be better. To some extent, some people get to save up and they, they even go to for, go for extra courses. You can take up an extra course in that same field to prove that you have paper and you've done a course in the Gulf country and definitely you, you find you get yourself learning a, a very big job of learning a very good position that's going to give you that amount of money that you feel you need in one way or the other. Thank you so much for coming back. You know, remember, it's makes from the next creation. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell. You always be updated wherever we upload a new video. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video.